Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 4, uh, module 6 data communication. So in module 6, uh, we were uh, discussing that the circuit switching and packet switching concept as we already seen what is circuit switching and its uh, basic uh, terminologies. Now let's see the different three phases, three main phases of circuit switching. I think I already mentioned in the previous uh, part of the video lecture. So, you know, as you already know, uh, to have a communication uh, by means of the circuit switching concept, you have to establish a circuit, right, before starting the communication. Then through the established circuit, the actual communication will be uh, proceeding and finally the circuit will be uh, disconnected uh, by means of a teardown phase. So, uh, the actual communication in a circuit switch network requires three phases, a connection setup phase where the resources will be dedicated and the circuit will be established and a data transfer phase where the actual communication is happening and finally once the communication is over there is a connection tear down phase so if you look at the uh, connection setup phase uh, so it is uh, like this so before starting the actual communication you are supposed to uh, establish a circuit for the communication right so before the two parties or multiple parties in a conference call. So normal one-to-one -one communication, uh, the sender and the receiver. But if it is uh, about a conference uh, kind of uh, communication, then multiple parties. So whoever want to communicate before starting that communication, the parties can communicate. Uh, before the parties can communicate, a dedicated circuit needs to be established. And this circuit, in the sense, is a combination of channels uh, in links that you already know. Okay, and that is connecting the sender to the receiver through intermediate switches. Now, the end systems are normally connected through dedicated lines to the switches. So, the connection setup means creating dedicated channel between the switches. Uh, okay, th that, uh, that also we already seen. It is like this. Uh, for, uh, for example, here we have uh, four switches. Uh, switch 1, this is switch 1, switch 2, switch uh, 3 and switch 4. Okay, and now uh, these are all the um, connections to these uh, switches. Uh, end, end systems will be connected like this. And out of them, one of the end system is highlighted here, say system A. Oh, this is an end system similarly the as a uh, receiver system uh, m uh, machine m is highlighted okay now this uh, machine a is connected to switch one and machine m is connected to switch three and uh, uh, assume a scenario where a want to have a uh, communication with the m now what you can observe is this connection from a to the switch one is something uh, or permanent okay that means that there will there will be a dedicated connection from the end to the nearby switch that is an always on connection okay and uh, similarly at the receiver side to the receiver switch this device will be connected and through this connection this uh, m can send as well as receive information so that is a scenario now see if you are looking at the connection between the switches uh, they are not uh, permanently there that means whenever we want that time only that connection will be established so that is why this uh, connection setup phase is having a relevance okay so even though we have a permanent circuit that circuit is created just before starting the communication only but this part of the connection is always there like end systems will be connected to the switch uh, by a permanent dedicated connection but between the switch the connection will be made uh, as per the demand okay so uh, here if you are uh, looking at this example this a is connected to m you know a can be connected to m through switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 and finally to m or through switch 1 then to switch 4 the switch 3 and finally to m so the two paths are there right from a to m you can either choose this uh, path or you can choose this path and uh, in this example particularly they are using so you see this particular line uh, even the two um, circuits are possible this is actually established so the uh, setup phase means establishment of this kind of a circuit that means establishment of a dedicated um, channel between switch 1 and switch 4 for this communication and also between switch 4 and switch 3 for this uh, particular communication so this series of links together make the communication path between a and m and that is being set up just before starting the communication so that is the idea so the end systems like a and m are normally connected through a dedicated line uh, to the switch something like this end system will be there will be a permanent dedicated connection so the connection setup actually means uh, creating a dedicated channel between the switches as per the requirement for example here creating a uh, a dedicated channel say from switch 1 to switch 4 and switch 4 to switch 3 that makes this communication uh, feasible so this is actually um, happening in the connection setup phase now if you are looking at this example it's just an ex explanation of the example uh, here um, 
for example in uh, figure given in slide 9 uh, maybe i'm referring some previous slide i think same thing is given there uh, when system uh, a needs to connect to system m just look at this diagram with respect to this is this i think it is already there in slide 9 also okay when system a uh, needs to connect to system m it sends a setup request that includes the address of m to switch i actually um, the initially for a a is uh, directly connected to switch 1 so a don't know any information about m simply a, a know what a knows is a want to have a connection with the machine m so a will uh, send a special um, connection request packet uh, that packet will be containing the address of m to switch one okay now it is up to switch one uh, to identify where this m is located and accordingly uh, new connections are to be set up by the switch one so that is switch one finds a channel between itself and uh, machine four uh, channel between itself and a machine four uh, that can be dedicated for this purpose switch one then sends a request to switch four uh, which finds a dedicated channel between itself and switch three so it is just like this switch um, uh, okay in between uh, no, yeah uh, switch 1 su to switch 4 actually switch 1 is connected to switch 2 and switch 4 and maybe this uh, connection between switch 1 and switch 2 may be uh, completely occupied that could be the reason it chooses uh, the connection with the uh, uh, switch 4 you know this connection is actually some kind of multiplexed connection uh, maybe a, a frequency division multiplexing or time division multiplexing could be used for this uh, connection between i mean multiple communication will be making use of this uh, connection between switch 1 and switch 4 similarly switch 1 and switch 2 and i at any time so it's like uh, just a single link where n channels are connected something like that so our all these n channels may be occupied that could be the reason switch one selected switch for or due to some other reason anyway as of now switch one identified itself that um, there is uh, some channel that is free from switch one to switch four and that can be given for this particular communication now what switch one do is switch one then sends a request to switch four so now uh, switch one is having a request from the end system A and that switch request will be forwarded to switch 4 which finds a dedicated channel between uh, itself and switch 3. Now when it comes to switch 4, switch 4 um, will be finding this particular dedicated channel between uh, itself and switch 3 and so due to any reason this uh, link is fully occupied by all n different channels maybe for other uh, communication then uh, that uh, setup phase will fail actually it will be informing back it is not possible and uh, it may try some alternative path or uh, finally mm, the process may terminate or something like that so assume that there is no such issue uh, so the channels are free then um, switch 4 will be uh, making a uh, trying to uh, send a request to switch 3 now switch 3 uh, finally it is connected to uh, the end machine m so it can inform switch uh, the end machine m for uh, of system a's intention at this time so now only m is knowing that a want to communicate with the, with him okay so initially a communicated its interest to switch 1 only then switch 1 made a connection with the switch 4 so that is actually happening in the setup phase and uh, it will it pass that request uh, to switch 4 now switch 4 made a connection to switch 3 and it passed that information to switch 3 and finally from switch 3 the information will be given to machine m and this particular connection is uh, established so that is the idea now in the next step uh, to make uh, making a connection an acknowledgement from machine m needs to be sent in the opposite direction to system a only after that system a receives this um, after system a receives this acknowledgement is the connection established now the process is not uh, completed yet that means and uh, right now from a request uh, send to one switch one then switch one to switch four switch two, four to switch three and finally from switch three the interest that a want to communicate with m is now passed to machine m now if machine m is willing to have that um, I mean sometimes if it is a um, telephone communication M may be engaged with some other call then it, it is not possible for M to have a, a communication with A other way suppose M is free it will send an acknowledgement back to A and that is the point the actual communication starts so note that the end to end addressing is required here like uh, A has to uh, communicate uh, the address of M to uh, switch 1 then only it can identify M and accordingly it can have that uh, circuit uh, possible. Um, so end to end addressing is required for creating a connection between two end system uh, this can be for example the address of the computers being assigned by the network administrator you know the concept of IP address and all uh, that may be used or some other means of if it is a telephone communication some telephone number something like that some ways of identifying each machine in your network is needed that's all 
then uh, next we have the actual data transfer and the tear down phase just uh, i'm mentioning only the data transfer phase after the establishment of the dedicated circuit now circuit is there so you don't have to worry about uh, anything simply you can have communication through that uh, established circuit um, dedicated circuit in the sense within circuit is actually a collection of channels right Wi within each link uh, the two parties can transfer the data uh, maybe voice communication or uh, network if you are using this uh, concept for computer network i mean uh, normal data communication and finally once the communication is over the tear down phase that is when one of the parties needs to disconnect a signal is sent to each other uh, i mean uh, the, to the nearby switch and finally to the other party to release the resources so as a result the resources are released in the sense the switch to switch channel dedicated that is being released okay by the uh, phase uh, to your down phase so that about the idea hope you got an idea uh, like even though uh, there is a permanent circuit that permanent circuit is valid only during your communication okay so it is not like always there is a fixed connection between a and m it is not like that uh, on the way that switch to switch connection is uh, made just before starting the co communication now uh, let's see the concept of efficiency and delay in circuit searching uh, okay and you can uh, guess it right what about efficiency and what about delay uh, let me ha have a um, brief about it before giving you that uh, points efficiency you know uh, what you can say about its efficiency uh, in the sense uh, resources are actually uh, not efficiently used because of throughout your communication you are reserving the resources and if it when it comes to telephone communication or uh, voice communication this is fine in the sense uh, you know when you start uh, calling your friend you will keep on talking and after that you will disconnect but imagine the same situation for data communication for example a particular client machine is being connected like this to the server machine and sometimes the server uh, will be sending information sometimes it will not be sending information but once the connection is established even though the communication is not happening it is simply wasted so that is the problem the resource which is being dedicated uh, if it is utilized fully then it is okay but uh, uh, in telephone communication and uh, the chances of utilization is very high but when it comes to data communication i mean our normal computer network uh, other applications uh, the uh, you know you you also feel, um, means faced this situation many times you will uh, start a connection with a particular server something but you may not be uh, using uh, it continuously uh, so like that so uh, uh, the resource efficiency is not there but what about delay because as we have a permanent uh, fixed circuit you can simply make use of that circuit for the uh, entire communication so the delay will be uh, very less right so that is the thing um, and all these things are actually we are having comparison with respect to packet switching and once you uh, go through that packet switching concept this will be very clear for you and finally we can have a comparison between these two that means uh, we are comparing with respect to packet switching actually so circuit switching can be rather inefficient with respect to resource utilization that is the channel capacity is dedicated for the duration of your connection even if no data are being transferred so if you are looking at the telephone network okay that is fine people normally terminate co communication when they finish their conversation but however in computer networks a computer can be connected to another computer even if there is no activity for a long time Th that is what I, I was trying to explain uh, in this case the allow allowing resources to be dedicated means that other connections are deprived of it someone else maybe wa want to send the information but it is being dedicated for uh, two parties who are not communicating actually so uh, in that way you, you may disturb other connections so in terms of performance there is a delay prior to the signal transfer for the call establishment uh, phase that means the connection setup phase will be taking some time that is an additional time before starting uh, your actual data transfer but once the connection is established then there is no delay uh, right once the circuit is established the network is effectively transparent to the users so information is transmitted at fixed data rate uh, with no delay at all uh, but delay is there for the connection setup phase uh, no delay other than the propagation delay through the transition network so because uh, for the information to propagate from one point to another some delay will be there that is uh, pro proportional distance by velocity right the speed at which the information is passing other than that propagation delay there is no other processing delay at the intermediate switches uh, again it is compared with respect to packet switching if you are looking at packet switching the information is being divided into packets and these packets are getting processed at each intermediate switches and uh, on the way we are determining a path for the packet to travel so that will incur some time some queuing delay and some processing delay at the intermediate switches such a delay is not here in circuit switching so the delay at each node i mean intermediate nodes is negligible uh, here 
so that about it uh, with this uh, uh, we will wind up as of now and in the uh, subsequent parts uh, we will see so, some more uh, information about circuit switching and then we will move on to uh, the packet switching concept okay thank you